<laughs> hey guys, not sure how long this video will be, but um, I, I feel like I owe this at least to a few people. I, you know, my channel is kind of an eclectic mix. I get a lot of Criterion Collection movies. I know a lot of guys like to see that. I've got some subscribers who subscribe because I talked about my Wii U collection a couple times and my PSP Vita collection, uh, as well as my Xbox 360 and some of that stuff. Uh, and those folks um, kindly subscribed to me and said they'd like to see more of the same, and I, I've really been kind of lax in that area. And then, um, of course, for the month of October in particular, and um, just in general, there's some people who like the horror collection uh, that I have been that's been growing actually. Horror was probably my first love as a child. When I was a little kid, watching movies. Um, on Saturdays when they had, you know, the, the typical uh, hosted horror afternoon show on, on Saturday afternoons at 1 o'clock. Ours was called Monster Movie Matinee, and mine's an homage to that. Um, you know, that was, for me, a big deal. Why does this thing keep doing what it's doing here? Sorry. Uh -huh. You can't see what I see on my iPad, but I have these boxes that are growing and shrinking, and I don't know what they're doing. I think they're trying to focus in on my face and I keep moving. I'd rather they focus in on what's behind me than me, but it is what it is. Uh, anyway, two people in particular have been very supportive of my channel lately, uh, even with the horror stuff, and so I appreciate that. And there's probably others, but the two that I'm thinking of who've been commenting and and pretty good. Of course, there's always Blu-ray Evan, and I, I don't want to discount Blu-ray Evan, so I shouldn't say there's really three, I guess. Because Blu-ray Evan is supportive of everything I do, and, and, and Evan I do appreciate it. And one of these days... I will let you know when I'm heading to FYE again, and and we will uh, we will meet each other there and have a soda or, or check out FYE or something. Um, but it's a little awkward. I know you don't drive, and, and I know you've got to you know get get a ride there. And then I've got to I usually come. It's on my way home from work. It's really not close to where I live. It's about halfway. I live about an hour away from work. So you know it's kind of a it's not always going to be easy, but we'll we'll figure it out. But the two guys that uh, particularly for my horror stuff would be Mind Your Horror, and it is his idea that I go with this kind of lighting. The TV's on, I've got this backlighting behind it, and then um, and then I've got a candle. Oh, which really belongs over here. There we go. That's a little better, I guess. Um, that was his idea for the lighting, and I like it. You know, it's it's a it's a it's kinder. It, it's it's a kinder lighting for me. Kinder. It's a kinder lighting for me. So I'll go with anything that that that's kinder on my face. Um, uh, and Dennis Reviews is the other guy, and, and both these guys have been very supportive, and I've tried to be supportive of their channels as well. I'm a relatively new subscriber to both, you know, in the last few months, I guess. Um, but I enjoy both of their channels quite a bit, so I, I do recommend both of their channels. Um, they both seem like really nice guys. Uh, you know, I can't say they're, I know a lot of people say, oh, they're my, my good friend. Well, I'm not going to say that. But they're really nice guys, and I really enjoy uh, their comments, and I really enjoy watching their videos. And I feel like, you know, every time I, I see more of them on screen on YouTube, I feel like I do get to know them better, for sure. Um, so that that's just my semantics there. I mean, I suppose you could call it a YouTube friend then, if that's the definition. But I do enjoy these guys, and I do enjoy their videos. So, that aside... Um, in particular, uh, Mind Your Horror had, had given me a shout-out recently, as is Dennis Reviews. Um, and I really liked what, what Mind Your Horror had to say. He mentioned the lighting thing. Yes, I did get that from your idea, and thank you. To, to carry it on, I did it in a hangout. He liked it, and I just been decided to keep it, for the most part. I'll, I'm sure I'll have these things lit behind me sometimes, too. Um, but particularly for horror, it seems appropriate. And he had... He had wondered why I kind of stopped, you know, something had happened. Well, it wasn't so much that something happened, I just got really busy. Uh, I was busy watching movies, what I was doing. And then my kids play this League of Legends. Do you know what this League of Legends is? It sucks away the bandwidth on my internet like crazy. And they they, they just really kind of begged me, could they please play their League of Legends? Because when I try to upload something, it's like impossible for them to get a good connection. I guess they get kicked off and I guess, I don't know a lot about this game, but I guess you can get like a bad reputation if you keep getting kicked off. I know how that works. That used to happen with Madden when I played Madden online. Um, so I understand all that. So I was like, yeah, sure, guys. I'll, I'll chill out. So I'm making this, what will probably be a longer video since I'm five minutes in and haven't talked about a movie yet. 
But all this, I say all this to lead up to that I want to talk about some movies that I've watched. I have been watching them, uh, especially for the month of October. All horror movies here I've got. Um, in fact, I'm even missing one that I can grab quickly. I think it's right over there somewhere. Uh, I'm going to be able to show what I what I watched. And I am missing one. Yes, hold on. Let me just grab it. It's right here. I just watched it the other night. <clears throat> okay. And here's this little case that goes with it. I'll probably edit some of this out. Unless I get too lazy, then I won't. This is the one. I guess I'll start with this one. I just watched it the other night. Still in the player, but I'll talk about this one. Uh, I did. I think I showed this somewhere. I think I did like an, an kind of unboxing or whatever you want to call it, up, update of what I had picked up. And I showed this one because I remember somebody commenting. I think it was Collector of Stuff said he had the same edition. This is a Turtle Classic Movies Greatest Classic Films in the Horror Genre. In this case, it's a Dr. Jekyll and Mr. Hyde. This one was Spencer Tracy, not the best version, but not a bad version. The Haunting, which no, I've never seen, and somebody had, might have been Mind Your Horror, said out, really a great movie, I should really check it out. House of Wax, I've seen many times, but it's been a while, but uh, certainly enjoy that film. And then the one I watched, Freaks, which had been a long time since I had seen it, though I certainly did remember it as I started watching. It's a very memorable film. Once you, I mean, it's been probably 30 years since I saw it, something like that. I know for some of you that's more years than you've been alive, but it's it's probably been 30 years. It's not a new film by any means. And I was probably pretty young when I saw it, I'm guessing. <coughs> I saw it probably as a teen or something. I don't know. But um, anyway, Freaks, great movie. Really enjoyed it. Um, I love the old black and white movies. I'm just a sucker for them. I like the acting that was done back then. I, I don't know what it is, but I just really enjoy the old black and white movies. And it's not because I'm a big fan of black and white, necessarily. I do think the shadows and things can be really cool on black and white. Um, and I like it on a lot of my Criterion Collection stuff. But um, I just like the acting. I like the straightforwardness of this film. There's no special effects. Uh, it's all... Um, well, there's a couple special effects. But they're not CGI. These were all... Had to be created. Uh, really nice film. Of course, the... The premise is that freaks will stick together. If one likes you, they all like you. If one hates you, they all hate you. You do one wrong and you better be prepared. And it's a story of a circus-like performer who's not a freak, but she's part of this traveling show. She's a high-wire act. Her and uh, the strong man, the Hercules character, decide to, uh, uh, to try to bilk one of the uh, freaks. And I use that term... Because that's what it's that's in the movie. Um, a midget, actually. To um, to try to bilk him of his money. And they they have a they have a plot and a scheme, and uh, she essentially she's gonna marry him. And uh it's a simple plot. She's gonna marry him, but but she detests the freaks, even though she's traveling with them everywhere. She sees herself as above them, uh, and she doesn't really associate with them, though she teases them and pretends to flirt with them and oh darling this and oh darling that but she really has contempt for them and that becomes clear and then the freaks uh don't put up with that so that's the basic plot without giving away a ton a uh, great movie great uh great use of the special folks the, the freaks uh and you know i think i said this somewhere else uh i remember I said it when I unboxed it. I remember the day when you would go to the freak show. That's that's not politically correct anymore. And I don't believe they have it anymore. You can still go to a fair and see the, you know, 30-foot alligator or whatever they claim to have behind the closed doors. You pay a couple bucks to see it. Uh, but back in the day, there were people, ladies with beards and people with no arms and legs and people that would hammer nails into their head and, and swallow swords and the whole deal. Um and these people, you'd pay to go through and see a variety of them. And, and, and so it took me back to that. It, it shows you behind the scenes of what it's really like uh, at, at, for these folks, what their lives are like, not just what you see when you went to a show like that, but what, how they lived day to day. I thought it was really well done, and, and I thought it was sympathetic to the freaks. 
and by no means was it a condemnation of them or or anything else. It's quite the opposite. So I really enjoyed it. I'm not sure it's a horror movie per se, although there's some horrificness in it. I'm not quite sure it's a horror movie, but but it's certainly a good movie, and I enjoyed it. Since it's, since it's in a horror force in there, we'll call it a horror movie. Next, uh, Texas Chainsaw. This is the 2013 version. Really liked it. Uh, and that may be sacrilege to some. I really liked it. I liked the mask uh, far better than I liked it in the original. Uh, I mean, let's face it, the original's got a lot going for it. It's got certainly the the grittiness. The, it feels real, although the, some of the characters feel cartoonish to me. Um, the, the, the actual violence seems real. And the reaction to the violence seems real. The reaction to the horror seems real. So, from that standpoint, good stuff. Um, I really like this. Uh, and, you know, I can't remember her name. Was it Marilyn? Uh, from the original movie, who played the Sally, is it Sally Hardesty? She's back in this one as the grandmother. And then available in flashbacks. Real mother was actually dead and, and left the uh, her mansion really to uh, somebody else. So I really like this. I, I'm, try, I'm trying to think if I did this. If I did this one, I think I might have done a review. I might have talked about this on a hangout, which is why I'm thinking maybe I did this. But uh, I'm going to keep this one short. I like the movie a lot. I found it to be certainly gorier than the original one. I'm not going to say it's better than the original one. I just liked it. I liked it quite a bit. I can give it a seven or so on the scale. I give Freaks a nine, by the way. I think it's a great movie. And then a seven. Uh, Rocky Horror Picture Show I watched. It's, this is the, I picked this up for seven fifty at Target. It's kind of going through the one. I really had no intention of buying anything, but this is a nice slipcover version with some sparkly, sparkly stuff on here. You really can't see that, I guess. I guess you can if I do that. Uh, great movie, you know, Tim Curry for years and to this day will not talk about it. It's the one film he doesn't want to associate himself with, but he was great in the role. I mean, to play this transvestite from Transylvania as well as he did and with such campiness and over the top qualities and, and, but very musical and really stole the show in my opinion in a lot of ways, but, but it's a, it's a great film. Susan Sarandon looking, looking great in her, in her undies there. Barry Bostwick from, uh, what was he in? He was with Michael J. Fox. He played like a mayor. Spin City uh, in a much younger version. Uh, yeah. So, uh, yeah. Barry and Susan Sarandon, Tim Curry, Meatloaf, of course. Uh, yeah. Good stuff. Brad and Janet. Damn it, Janet. Yeah. Good stuff. Next, I watched... Contamination, which is sort of an alien ripoff, sort of a, um, not a ripoff, I, I shouldn't say that, I, but although the I did watch a lot of the extras and the director was actually inspired, he was in New York and while in New York uh, under contract, he watched uh, Alien, the original Alien, and was so inspired by it he wanted to make a movie sort of like it, in the same kind of vein, and so they made Contamination about a bunch of pods, pod-like creatures who burst, and when they burst and hit somebody in the face or wherever, then that person will burst. A lot of great gore in this. If you're a fan of gore, this has got quite a few good scenes where, you know, the insides are rip, get ripped out from the inside out type of thing. Tons of extras on this. you got the Blu-ray and the DVD. This is worth... You've got... Blu-ray DVD combo here, uh, reversible cover art. You got a little bit of a, a pamphlet in here. Uh, yeah, I liked it. It's not a great movie by any means, but the quality, the picture quality was good, and it was enjoyable to watch. I put these over here. Okay, next up, Trick or Treat. Well, I had to watch this one. Um, great movie. It's a it's an anthology type movie, but I really enjoyed it. I, I had watched it not all that long ago, but I decided to watch it again, and I really enjoyed it. Uh, I watched this the night before Halloween, so really good stuff there. Really love the cover art on this. Trick or treat. 
Uh, this one got terrible reviews, but I sort of liked it. I, you know, I don't know. My, maybe my taste in, in, I didn't really like the ending so much. Um, but I liked a lot of the middle sequence, and I thought the beginning was well done. I picked this up for like $4 at FYE used. Um, but it's called Devil's Do. I liked it. Not a great movie. It's like a five or something. Maybe it's even a six. I don't know. But it's, it's, uh, Middle of the road for me. I'd watch it again. I would. Uh, honeymoon cu couple get uh, taken to a bar by a cab driver. She gets, they both get pretty plastered. Uh, she is then taken and made part of a ceremony, which you really don't see the whole part of it, but you get the idea that something took place in the ceremony. She ends up pregnant, and as she's pregnant, kind of like a Rosemary's baby, so... Uh, she begins to experience some odd things and do some odd things. And, um, yeah, doubles do. This one, I, this one I watched not that long ago also, but I had to watch it again. I enjoyed it. I think it's creepy, uh, and, and tense. It even says in the back, tense and creepy. I would agree. It follows. I enjoyed this movie quite a bit. I don't know what kind of stars I'd give it. I, I guess it's somewhere around an eight or so. It's a pretty good movie. Eight and a half. I like it a lot. And the more I, I wish, you know, as a Blu-ray, it doesn't have all that many extras on it. But if this thing were packed with extras, I think I'd rate it even higher. As a movie, though, I, I'd say it's an eight or eight, eight and a half. As a Blu-ray, you know, maybe it's a seven and a half or an eight because it doesn't have a lot of extras. So does that make sense? Hopefully, it does. Now, the, the movie itself was good. The, the package that it, that it comes in doesn't give you a lot of extras. It's like a couple things. So I, I think that, for me, kind of downplays the score a little bit as opposed to a set that's got a ton of extras in it. I think that's more bang for your buck, I guess is what I'm saying. This one, um, well, let me start with this. I, I can't remember what order I watched them, and I think I watched I think I think watched them in the wrong order, I guess. But uh, Well, what better movie to watch on Halloween than Halloween, the original one. And when I bought this set, I got it for like $30 at FYE. Uh, I had a coupon for, I think it was 40% off any one item in the store. It was like a special thing they did. And then I had another 10% off. So I think I got it for like $30, $29 or something. I couldn't pass it up for that kind of price. The other one was going for like 112 at the time, the bigger set. I like the fact that I, can, I first of all, I like the artwork on this better than the bigger one. It's probably sacrilege again, but I do. I just, I was drawn to this one from the moment I saw it. I liked it better. I thought this artwork was better. Your mileage, of course, can vary. I like the fact that it sits on the shelf. It sits on the shelf neatly. It's just two cases versus, uh, and I'm okay with them. I'm okay with this kind of a deal and not a separate case for every single one. In fact, this is kind of desirable for me to have them like this. Less room, have them all together. Uh, if there was a booklet in here, it'd be perfect for me, but there's not. That's the only thing I miss. Tons of extras on this. Not all the ones you get on the box set, but there's a shitload of extras on this thing. Anyway, I watched Halloween. I enjoyed it. Uh, to me, it's still the best movie in the franchise. I'm talking about the original one from John Carpenter. I'm going to be watching the one from Rob Zombie, which I've never seen. The, the first one. I haven't seen the second one. I hear good things about the first one. I may like it better. We'll see. But I do like the first one out of all the Halloween movies, and and nothing. And I watched a couple other ones, um, and I'm I'm going to talk about uh, Season of the Witch, which I hated when it first came out, but now I like it. I, I well, the first one I like because it's just really well done. The music, the atmosphere, the acting, the 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 legendary epicness of of this Michael Myers character, who who knows why he's doing what he's doing. He's Something snapped in the child, and, and he killed his sister, and now it's it's been uh, whatever amount of years, it's been 18 years or 15 years or something, and here he comes out, and <clears throat> you don't see his face ever uh, as an adult, um, or as a child either, when I think about it, at least I don't remember seeing his face in this. Um, but anyway, uh, scary stuff, great atmosphere. Love the fact that it's broad daylight, and here he is standing there, you know, as Lori as Lori Strove and her girlfriend's walking down the sidewalk, here he is just standing there in front of the bush, like almost 
He's not trying to creep around necessarily. You know, this guy is not being worried about being seen. Now, he also disappears after that. But but to be out in broad daylight was kind of creepy for me. That creeped me out at originally and even a little bit now watching it. Um, okay, then Halloween season of The Witch I watched. Uh, much better than I remember it. I, I, I think I'll watch that every year. I, I do enjoy it. It's a little different twist, obviously. There's no Michael Myers. But I still think it was an appropriate Halloween film, and I liked it a lot more the second time or whatever time it's been. It's been years since I've seen it. 30 years, maybe. I don't know. It's been a long time. 20 years. I really enjoyed it. I guess it's been 20 years. Uh, the other movie I watched that was uh, from the Halloween package, well, it's not from the Halloween package, but I picked it up, is this one. This is the uh, unrated producer's cut or whatever they, they call it, the 666 cut or whatever. The Curse of Michael Myers. Yeah, I thought it was okay. Um, I don't know, you know, I, I didn't find him to be all that scary in this one, quite frankly. I didn't really like the fact that he was kind of being controlled. Um, there was a lot of things I didn't like about this movie, but overall I was entertained by it. I mean, it, it, it was an okay movie for me. Um, uh, not nearly as good as the first one and not as good as the third one either, but it was certainly watchable, and I'll, I would watch it again. So, of course, whatever that's worth. It wasn't a bad movie. It just wasn't as good as the other ones, as, as one and three. Uh, I watched this again. One of my favorite movies in the horror genre. This stands up as just a movie in general. Forget horror. It's just a good movie. And it's very rewatchable for me. I, don't know, I guess the, I like the characters in it. I like the frustration of the mother, and I like the story of... The, of, of Father Marin and Father Karras. Um, it's really Father Karras' story, if you think about it. But I, I like the Father Marin character quite a bit. So, The Exorcist. Then I watched, off of this set, uh, a couple. Um, I watched Frankenstein and The Bride of Frankenstein. For my money, The Bride of Frankenstein, one of the best movies uh, in the horror genre. Really, really enjoy it. I enjoy both of them. Uh, of course, in, in Bride of Frankenstein, Bela Lugosi, Bela Lugosi, yeah, Boris Karloff made a, uh, Bela Lugosi almost played Frankenstein, by the way, that's why, I, but that's why I started to say his name. Boris Karloff wanted to have the monster speak. And, um, uh, of course, uh, in the original one, the Frankenstein monster did not speak. Uh, Dr. Frankenstein spoke, but the monster never spoke other than... <laughs> in the second one, though, they decided to give him a voice, and Boris Karloff was instrumental in that. And um, it worked out very well, I thought. He, he said just enough. You know, smoke good, good. You know, or uh, we belong dead. That was just a, we belonged. And the way he said it, <clears throat> it was such menace. Um, Love this Universal set. Was really happy to be able to watch these at Halloween. To, in my mind, this is still the stuff I think about when I think about Halloween and and this time of year. These are the, these are the guys I think about. The Mummy, the Wolfman, the Creature from the Black Lagoon, the Frankenstein Monster. The Invisible Man. You know that these these are these are the movies. So that's it. So that's what I was watching. I was very busy watching horror movies and really enjoying them. I think there's maybe been a couple others I watched. I'm just I just grabbed the ones off the shelf that I oh, I watched this. I watched this. Watch this. There was a good dozen or so. I think that, I think there was one a night. I think I did the 31 Day Nights of Horror. There were nights when I watched two and like Saturdays when I watched two or three. And then I think I might have missed a night here or there because we had something going on where I had to... Um, and I was out of... Oh, I was out of town. I went out of town for a week. Uh, and I still watched horror movies when I was out of town because I have uh, I have Hulu. I have digital copies on many of these. So when I say I watch these, some of these I watched on the digital copy. Like Devils Do, It Follows. There was a bunch of them I watched on, on the uh, digital copy as opposed to the actual physical one and then I watched some on Hulu 
Even though I own them, I was still able to watch them on Hulu. So anyway, that was my. That's partly why, uh, mind your horror. That's probably why I uh, was AWOL for a little bit between being busy from work, traveling that week. I forgot about that. Yeah, I traveled for a week. Yeah, time flies. Anyway, guys, thanks for watching, and we'll see you again next time. <laughs>